welcome to Let's Play Shadowgate for the NES Part 2. This is Ron Moore along with the J-Man. Hey, what's happening? Yeah, and thank God this is not Shadowgate 64, so hopefully you won't rage quit on us, J-Man. Oh, no way in this great game. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll see you to the end. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now we're back in the coffin room. Let's so look at this mommy, uh, mummy. Also, this one's going to be really good because you've all you've already learned all the secret tips and tricks. Yeah. To get past the game. Yeah. And you make map and. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. All right, now we get the scepter, which will be we will definitely need later on. Not this torch, so we have to hear that awful music. Right. Which I can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Here we go. It's a leather pouch! Really? It's a, bag, it's a bag of gold. Wow, really? Not really. I mean, it's like... My, me and my... It's, it's bag too. <laughs> me and some of my friends, especially my roommate, what, they watched part two of my Let's Play on the Ron Moore channel of this game, and they heard my commentary on it saying, It's a leather pouch! And it just became an inside joke between us, because it's so... It's kind of stupid, like... Why are they making a big deal of a little bag? It's a leather pouch! I'm like, okay. And... It's a, it's a D-bag, too! <laughs> yeah, the juice bag is in hand. Uh, all right, now we're in the fun house here. Oh, oops. And now jump in the hole like an idiot. It seems that you have broken both of your legs. It's only yeah. a matter of time before you die! You landed in the rape room. Uh, yep. Come on, Ronnie. You, you've already played this game, what, like twice? Yeah, I'm just not good at it. I keep dying at it. It's like, oh, you never know what's going to happen. I played this game 20 times, and I just still die at it. Sounds like Battletoads. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, something does happen. Come on. Oh, well, you got to hit the mirror with the hammer. All right. Yeah, break stuff. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. As you hear the glass break, Stone Cold Steve Austin comes out and stuns you. And you die again. Are you doing this on purpose? <laughs> no, I'm really trying hard here. <laughs> That's a brutal death right there, though. You're, you you get sliced and blood, you lose blood and you slump to the floor or something. Ouch. I can't believe they put this that, put that in, in the game like, for uh, kids. Yeah, like Morgan Freeman. Yeah. You hear Morgan, Morgan Freeman's voice as you die. Yeah. <laughs> Narrate your death. <laughs> yeah. And here in this ancient castle medieval type atmosphere, you get sucked into outer space. Cool. That's a that's a good way to go, actually. Yeah, that's pretty cool, but it seems See, like... See, you are doing this on purpose. There's no way <laughs> you chose two out of three wrong mirrors. <laughs> There's... Come on. And let's see here, now it's time to break the middle mirror. Maybe that would be the right mirror to break. Hmm. Well, I already have 14 years of bad luck. I guess I have to make it 21 here as I break this third mirror. This is like Shadowgate, the unrated version. Yeah. <laughs> you, you must be 18 to view this video. Yeah, really. Just like plumbers don't just, wear ties. Just put your, yeah, please put in your birthday now. Oh, yeah. Or even though in the box of plumbers don't wear ties, it says you have to be 17. But... In the right. game, there's an option that says you gotta be 18 to look at this. Yeah, there's a lot of old computer games and stuff that, um, like Leisure Suit, Leisure, yeah, that, that word, Suit Larry. <laughs> yeah. Where you have to answer questions that kind of, uh, I guess, guarantee that, that you're, like, that age, um, by the time you play the game. And I guess that was, like, like 1982 or something. Um, yeah, that, that don't work out very well nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, okay, I'm 18, I swear, but I don't know who was president back in 1968. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to Google it. Yeah, really. <laughs> All right, let me... Um, you go in the water and get eaten by the shark. Yeah. Yes, I can. Come on, let me take a swim. Uh-oh. As you yep. swim toward the skeleton, you feel the jaws of a shark grab you and pull you under. Well, yeah, the same shark that I just swam by. Predicted. I knew it. See, you're 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 including all the deaths. What? I knew it. No way. You're not doing this on accident. This game is hard. 
You, uh-huh. you die all the time. There's so many ways to die. I know, right? Uh-huh. How could I possibly know there was a shark in there? Oh. I know, man. <laughs> yeah, totally. Seriously, <laughs> seriously, though, when I first played this game when I was a kid, this game really was legitly hard. L- legitly? Uh, it, yeah, good enough. This game was legitly hard. I mean, yeah, that's before you memorize the patterns and stuff, but, oh man, but I, even though, back, well, back then, I think I did actually jump in the water because I was like, well, how am I going to get this key from the skeleton? Maybe I have dis- stupid desperation, jumped in the water, eat by a shark, and like, oh. Well, yeah, you see that shiny key out there, and you're like, I need that. There's got to be a way to get it. How did I get it? Well, maybe yeah. we went back and swim out there. Maybe that shark is just to trick you. When in the actual game, you can still swim in there and get it, you know, and not die. Nope, you'll still die. Oh, why well, do you get this? Is not, this is not like Star Tropics. It's not a dolphin. <laughs> it's a it's a real shark. Yeah, <laughs> really. <laughs> all right, it's a good thing uh, I'm not claustrophobic because I'm in this uh, tight spot right here. Just all these walls surrounding me. The walls are damp. Break the walls down. You hit the rock, and the rock re- replies with a rock bottom. <laughs> replies. Respond. Ah, oh, that was like a Batman flashback. The loose rock. Well, yeah, really. Adam West is narrating this game. Bam, zip, biff. Zoink, biff. This is Back to the Future. Alright, now let's open the bag, or the douche bag. Yeah, the D-bag one. The D-bag contains three large jewels. Blue, red, and white gems. Look all the gems. Alright, now let's get out of this claustrophobic uh, area. Oh, okay, that's a little frustrating. Every time you go in this room, you gotta wait for that shark to swim by. It's like, we know there's a shark. Don't have it swim by every single time we go in the room. Alright, now this is where we use the white gem. All right, and now this is where we get the crystal sphere. Cold as ice. You're as cold as nope. ice. Sing it. I knew he was gonna sing it. <laughs> All right. Now let's get out of here. I've got double vision. <laughs> uh, well, keep drinking. I probably will. Like for real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I am going to put a stop to this shark swimming around. Yeah, take that, Jaws. You drop a sphere into the lake and notice the ripples disappearing as the water turns into ice. Damn, you just, you killed a poor defense, defort, yeah, that word, shark. <laughs> poor de- <laughs> defortsis, <laughs> yeah. this, this shark. For, for a fortnight. Yeah. Yep, like the torch. Now I'm going to uh, melt the ice here because I need to take this sphere back for later on. Watch out for the dead shark. Yeah. This the frozen dead death shark. Yeah. Now this measure right here is appropriate for this part, this room. E C W. Ah, oh, dang it! All right. Let's go back through here again. Now, key three, we'll open this door. It better. There we go. Click the keyword and unlock the door! Calm down, nothing special. This is the hottest room of the year. <laughs> as far as Rip Rogers is concerned, yeah, there was a wrestling jobber named Rip Rogers back then. Roy Rogers? Rip Rogers. He's got some good chicken. <laughs> Alright, I need to put on the cloak so I can go back in that room without getting kicked out. I don't care as long as it gets me through that room. If the cloak doesn't fit, you must have quit. Yeah. <laughs> you must rage quit. <laughs> yes, I am wearing the cloak. Alright. Smash! <laughs> You see stars. <laughs> Try to hit myself for, because I feel like an idiot sometimes. Light the torch. When I burn myself too, now you can tell I'm not doing this on purpose. 
because this game is hard. You know how oh, right. second degree burns. Second degree Mr. Burns. You know the flame is close enough to your skin. It's all second and third degree burns. Yes, Mr. Buns. Mr. Buns? You finally set yourself on here your hair on fire. The rest of your body soon follows. <laughs> That's all. I can see how that could totally be something you could do on accident. Yeah. Oh. Now, well, wait a minute. I guess I took advantage of the glitch here. It takes me back to this room. Either that or you did some editing. No, I did not. Oh. Serious, I didn't edit this part. There's a glitch where if you die in a certain room, it takes you here without having to wear the cloak. So I think that's what I just did here. Alright, now Bowser busted the door and uh, I'll just get past him. He ain't gonna do nothing. Oh. The foyer drink screams tranquilly and gives you an eternal sunburn. It's a sad thing that you're a freaking idiot. Alright. Now let me just jump in here like an idiot, bail me like a fool. You leap off the bridge and into the blaze. You are instantly fried. Well, how am I going to get past the dragon? The door is open. Bowser's back, and here's what you must do. You must drop the sphere into the foyer. I'm fine in the foyer. Ah, oh, damn, I forgot the lyrics to that song. Never mind. Oh yeah, fix me from whatever band it is. I forgot. Anyway. Anyway. As I failed that joke, we get past this part right here by extinction the fire and getting ring up, getting ring, getting rid of Bowser. All right now. Oh, a cold wind whips as we have a new challenger. Yep. Oh wait a minute. Who's, who's joined in? Who's this? A YouTube troll appears and said, "This bridge is mine." It cost you. You need to subscribe to me, and I won't flag your video. <laughs> sub for sub. You should have made me the contest winner. <laughs> you don't do nothing. The troll then flags your video and causes you to, causes you to get suspended from YouTube. Challenge. <laughs> Whoa! Wait a minute. That was, that was late. <laughs> wow. Okay. We got is join us. So out of nowhere, even though we can't see what's going on. Yeah, that was the challenger that I was talking about like two minutes ago. Sorry, yeah. the uh, oh, challenger I was just, late. I thought the new just, challenge wasn't really a challenge at all. It was a I late thought, challenge. I thought she was making a it joke was. about what happened in the video. I'm like, the cold wind wisps, and we have a new challenger. Like, okay, anyway. Uh, no, it was me. <laughs> I came in to interrupt the uh, late commentary. Since we guys late in joining us in commentary and late in respond to the challenge comment. Uh, he just had to pretend like he knows what's going on here. So hey, we're playing Shadowgate. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, I, thought know, spear, I thought the spear at the troll and he uh, disappears even though you hear no crash. So hmm, I don't know about that. But now we go to the next room where we're facing Sloth. Take a look at Sloth. Yeah, that, that that's name is very He is very mad. You mad? Are you mad? You're afraid to get near it. Well, yeah. Uh -huh. A battle cry dies in your throat as the Cyclops crushes your skull with his club. <laughs> I want to join the club. Not nah, fail. All right. Let's go back to the room again. <laughs> Join the club. God, I, I haven't seen this many deaths in a, in a video since uh, Ronnie was playing uh, Super Mario All Stars. Put him douche. Um, and oh, oh, the bucket is <laughs> open. The bucket is already open. You should have to open it. That's so stupid. Yeah, how do you open a bucket? I mean, the bucket. Is, look at it. There's no lid right there. It's like, what are you talking about? Use your imagination. You should, in the bucket. How about you, you, you shut up, imagination? Fail. Okay. Now put the stone in the sling. And let's use it oh, yeah, on, the, uh, on this guy. Big and, big uh... Oh, that's stupid. I gotta reselect the sling. Use it on yourself. 
<laughs> all right, select the fling, sling, and all right, as soon as you start twirling the sling, a magical influence takes over your body. Pwn. You cry out, "Death to the Philistine!" and release the stone, bullseye. Now, yeah, just totally <laughs> killed him. And then right here, off of his head. You dropped it. Well, I assume it's off of his head. It's, this whole thing is making a reference to David and Goliath. What grass? What kind of grass <laughs> yeah, is that? That's dead that's grass. Like yeah. That is grass ever. Yeah, really. Ah, dang it. Hold on a second. Shut up. All right. There we go. And... All right. Ah, it's a long, drafty hallway with one flight of stairs and several open passages. Okay, I'm going to just uh, use a sword myself here and see what happens. You did it! Oh, wait. Let's throw a sword into your chest. Blood begins to flow. Suicide will help you in your quest! The Warlock Lord will surely triumph now. Yeah, see, I thought if you used your sword in yourself, a cool thing would happen and you'll beat the game, but I guess not. Anyway. You just, you wanted to get the unrated version. That's, <laughs> that's all it is. The torch is in Hond. Hond. Fail. Han Solo? Well, in hindsight, that was fail. Ah, oh, man, that was fail, too. Um, I think we need another death. It's, you know... <laughs> it's been too long. It's been, it's been like 15 seconds. We need one. Yeah. We need, we need a, a, another one. Yeah, really. <laughs> it's time to die. Yeah. The book is open. The book is open. You die. <laughs> yeah. A snake comes out of the book and bites you in the nose. Yeah. No, the book is so boring. You die of boredom. Yeah. <laughs> All right. right. Open this desk here. Now, now it looks like we're playing Deja Vu instead of Shadowgate. Was it made by the same company though? Yes. Deja Vu in this game. Yeah. So. Yeah. The bottom of that bookcase looks like the uh, Price is Right dollar sign symbol. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Yeah. Look at look at look at it, we got What do you think? It looks totally tubular. <laughs> tubular. I totally Kurt know Russell. what you're talking about. What he meant to say was it looks like uh, Paris Grotums. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, that's Bear's comment. I was just trying to be like Goldsboro. <laughs> that's all. Well, now, hold on. Three girls went inside of him. Yep. Oh, 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 I missed it. You've learned one magic spell. I'm, br I'm bringing it back. It's, it's, it's like it's in now. Yeah. You mad, Goldsboro? Yep. You mad, bro? Goldsboro? Silversboro? There's a YouTube channel called Silver Sis. It's weird. Or Gold Sis. That's weird. It fell. Um, stupid. You're stupid. Right. You're stupid in being stupid. You know, it hurts. <laughs> okay. Okay, butt hurts? Um, no, and, the hand hurts. Oh. Use the, uh, oh. Oh. Use the red gem here. Red, red Gemini. The bouquet slowly slides away, revealing a hidden passage. Did passage. Like massage? I want a passage massage. Are you going into a massage parlor? No, I'm going to a... No, room you're not. <laughs> ...dominated by a large fireplace set in a red brick wall. And with that said, we're going to stop right here, and we will continue this in part thrice. Until then, God bless take care. Thank you, we got for joining us at the last minute. <laughs> you're welcome. I added so much to this part. That's great.